everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all really well. Today's video is going to be a mini holiday haul because as you probably know from me waffling on about it so much, I am going on holiday very soon and so I picked up a few bits from ASOS recently and a few other websites as well. So I just thought it might be quite interesting to show you what I've got and then obviously while I'm away I'll also be doing holiday lookbooks and things like that so you can see them. I want to say in action but that sounds very strange but you can see them on basically and on holiday. I'm sorry if this video is super bright or the lighting changes and it looks really strange. I am filming in natural light as usual but the sun is like really streaky today so sorry about that but let's get on with the video. So first up we have a very gorgeous maxi dress from ASOS. It's got ruffled sleeves, beautiful ruffled sleeve, cold shoulder and then ruffles on the bottom as well. You probably can't see what this is truly like until I show you the try on clip but it is such a gorgeous feminine float print and I just think it will be lovely for dressing up in the evenings and um, yeah, really feeling in the holiday spirit. I can't remember exactly how much everything is so I will link everything down below just in case you fancy checking it out for yourself. Next up is this gorgeous snake print um, pink beach dress with a cut out crisscross around the waist. It is quite short and it is quite sheer but obviously for chucking on over a bikini when you're having a lunch or you know by the pool or just something casual during the day it is perfect. It's such a gorgeous holiday piece and I can't wait to wear this because I feel like it's very me. I love the halter neck because it's kind of a plaited effect. I just think this dress is so pretty and I can't wait to wear it on holiday. Now I must have been in the maxi dress buying mood while I was shopping on ASOS because this is another maxi dress. I'm not a huge maxi dress fan but I feel like over the last couple of years I've really got into dressing up a little bit more on holiday and just wearing something that feels a little bit more formal because I feel like when I'm back at home obviously you have events and you have occasions but it's very rare that you get to go out for dinner every night and we're going on a big family holiday so there will be lots of us there and I don't know why I'm waffling on and justifying why I'm buying maxi dresses but anyway let me show you it. So this one is a ruffled cold shoulder bardo, I never know what they're called, um, off the shoulder dress with a fitted bit at the top and then the rest of it is lovely loose and floaty. I just think this style is flattering on every figure and whether you're having a really bloated day because you've indulged on too much pizza, not that I know how that feels, this is something that you can just chuck on and feel really, really good in. I also think the color is so beautiful and summery and I don't wear lemon yellow very much so I feel like it's the perfect excuse when you're going somewhere hot and sunny to get a bit more creative with color. And talking of yellow, I have got another off the shoulder yellow maxi dress but this one has a beautiful flower print. I love the ruffle detailing at the top. So whilst it is quite formal, it's also really fun and pretty and modern as well. I think this will be gorgeous for dinners out and something where you want to feel a bit more dressy. Yellow is such a beautiful color to show off your new tan, so I'm very excited to wear this one. I also love the structuring of this dress because it does nip you in at the waist, which is lovely because I do feel like sometimes maxi dresses, especially because I'm quite short, they can kind of swamp me a little bit. So I always tend to find that if you do go for maxi dresses, it's worth having one part that is fitted. So it's not an all the way straight down A-line kind of dress. The one before obviously had a fitted top and this one is fitted around the waist. So I do feel like that's one of my top tips if you are short and you want to wear maxi dresses. And then my final piece from ASOS is this gorgeous cutout red ruffle frill dress with a pleated skirt. 
On the website, I wasn't sure about this because I thought at first maybe it's a little bit too fussy for me because there's a lot going on. However, the colour is beautiful. I absolutely adore red and it's one of those colours that I can instantly put on and just feel really special and dressed up. So I really, really love this dress. I think it's very, very flattering. And even when I'm not feeling my best, it just seems to do all the right things for me. So you can't really ask for much more in a dress than that. Now if you watch my misguided haul then you'll know how obsessed I am with palm prints and I saw this on the Silk Thread website and instantly fell in love with it. It's a really lightweight, silky, floaty play suit that nips you in at the waist but it's such a cool material so it's great if you're going on like a city break or a holiday where you know you're going to have to do a bit of walking and you want something to take you through the day, look really pretty but also not get you all hot and flustered because I know sometimes you can wear tops and jackets and denim shorts or skirts and it can all get a little bit fussy and you can get a bit hot and flustered. Maybe that's just me, I'm not sure. So I feel like this is such a great thing to chuck on during the day and just feel really chilled and cool. I also think it's a great piece for festivals because it's just so easy to wear but it looks quite done up if that makes sense. It's something that you can just chuck on but still feel really good and it's also really easy to dress up and dress down so obviously as I mentioned you can wear it during the day or you could wear it with heels and pretty accessories for a more jazzed up evening look. Then my next few pieces are from a website called We Are All. Now I've only just discovered this website recently but I've been so impressed with the quality of the products because you never quite know when you order online how things are going to be, whether they're going to look like what they do on the website but I have been extremely impressed with not only the price and the service and delivery and everything but also how high quality the products are so I wouldn't hesitate to order from them again and I probably will be doing a lookbook on my blog with these pieces at some point because I have got a few other pieces as well. The first piece I got is probably something that doesn't look like that much off but it's this really pretty crop top with a lace-up detail and then a design motif, is that what you call it, a motif, on the front. It's great for teaming with a denim skirt. It's a really, really soft floaty material and it doesn't kind of stick to you. Because I do find some crop tops, especially if they're cotton, they can tend to stick to you in hot weather and um, that's not ideal really. So I think this is a really pretty piece. It's not something I would normally go for because um, because I do like to inject a bit of colour into my wardrobe but I feel like for something chilled and easy it's such a nice piece to chuck on. I think for the flight as well I might wear this because it's super comfy. Then I also picked up another crop top from We Are All. This time it's a long sleeved lacy crop top with a embroidery detailing on the front. I never know how to describe these things and I feel like I'm describing them all wrong. Um, but it's a really really pretty black lacy crop top it's not hot and sticky the material is lovely it's stretchy it's flattering and I love to wear these kind of things with high-waisted jeans or colots colots however you say them <laughs> um, or a high-waisted skirt so I already have one of these in pink and I wear it all the time to the extent that the lace and the elastic has actually come away from the top so I felt like I should treat myself to another one and whilst I did initially think that the embroidery detail would be a bit too in your face it actually looks very pretty on and then finally from we are all I got this off the shoulder gingham top now this isn't the softest material admittedly but it does look really pretty and I love the fact that it's fitted because I find that sometimes the straight down A-line tops can make me look bigger than I am and so I just find this is a really great one to wear with jeans or skirts. Considering the really unpredictable weather that we've been having I've actually really appreciated the long sleeves to be honest so I was very impressed with this also. And then finally, because I know I did say it would be a quick haul, I have two pieces from Sweaty Betty that I am absolutely loving at the 
the moment and just wanted to show you quickly. I've been really slacking in the gym recently. I think it's because we've just been so busy. David's been doing exams and the gym has kind of been on the back burner, but there's me making excuses. Um, but I do always feel like having some new items in your gym wardrobe can definitely help with motivation to go back to the gym. So I'm hoping that's what these pieces are going to do. In fact, I think they have worked already because we did go on Monday and I did really enjoy it, even if my legs are really, really aching. But anyway, so the first thing I got is this very, very pretty sports bra. It's a one strap on the side and then you've got a thinner strap over here. And it's a bit of a unique design. I have never seen one of these kinds for the gym before, but it's really kind of jazzed things up because I feel like sports bras can be very boring and not the most prettiest of things, admittedly. But this is really flattering as well as being practical because it definitely hoiks everything up where it needs to go. And I just think it's really comfy, super soft, and I'm very impressed with it. But probably my favorite new addition are these gym leggings from Sweaty Betty with a, I don't know how you describe this, a sort of palm print. I love printed leggings, but I do find that they can sometimes, if they're a bit too in your face, they can make your legs look a bit chunkier. But these are so flattering, really slimming, and I don't know what material they've used, but they are super soft. So I'm very excited to get back into these and go to the gym again. I know I'm really late to the bandwagon, but I haven't actually tried Sweaty Betty as a brand before. But these two pieces have definitely shown me how amazing their products are, especially these leggings, which I can't stop touching because they are so soft and they feel so nice against your skin. Because sometimes you can get gym leggings that are quite unflattering lycra or some sort of shiny material and you can actually hear your legs like, swooshing together as you walk, which doesn't make you feel the best, to be honest, but these are gorgeous and I can't recommend them enough. So that's just a few bits that I picked up for my holiday. As I mentioned, you will be seeing them in a lookbook very soon, but I just thought I'd show you before I go away so that you know what's coming up. I also know that lots of the stuff on ASOS goes out of stock, so if you did want to get your hands on anything, I definitely recommend checking out the link below and seeing if it's in your size. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.